Hi, today I'll be demonstrating how Versex Cybersecurity Control VSP Advanced protects Apache Rocket MQ against the remote code execution vulnerability CV2023-33246 that CISA recently reported has been heavily exploited. Here are the CV details. As you can see, the exploit is a remote code execution attack on Apache Rocket MQ version 5.1.0 and below. The CV has a base score of 9.8, making it a critical vulnerability. In this attack kill chain at step 1, the threat actor performs reconnaissance to check if the workload is vulnerable to the RCE vulnerability. Once the threat actor determines that the workload is vulnerable, they execute the exploit at step 3. The exploit installs a backdoor that helps the threat actor gain remote control of the victim workload. From step 7 to 10, the attacker can execute any malicious action such as executing an executable and lolbin malware, exfiltrating data, execute lateral movement, and rinse and repeat malicious actions on adjacent workloads, etc. Worship protects the workload very early in the kill chain before the threat actor can execute any meaningful malicious actions. Now let us see the demo with VSP running in detect mode. In this mode, we will see all the steps that the threat actor will carry out. All the threat actor actions will be locked only. Later, we will see the same demo in protect mode where the threat actor will be blocked very early in the kill chain. Back to the detect mode demo. We can see in the CMS dashboard that the Apache Rocket MQ server is protected by VSP running in detect mode. We can see that the Apache Rocket MQ server is protected by a few pre-configured application control rules. One set of rules deny execution of some pre-configured lolbins such as bash, csh, awk, etc. by default. Another set of rules enumerates all the command lines that the Apache Rocket MQ server will execute legitimately as it operates normally. The server is currently set in detect state so that we can show the impact of the exploit. Now let us view the VSP incident page. As you can see, there are no incidents reported yet. On the left hand side of your screen, we see the Threat Actors server, which is hosted at the IP address 10.27.203. On the right hand side, we can see the Apache Rocket MQ server hosted at IP address 10.47.7.112. Let us run PST command on the victim to check if the Apache Rocket MQ server is operational. As you can see, the two components of the Apache Rocket MQ server, that is the broker and the name server, are operating normally. On the Threat Actor machine, we have an exploit script. This script needs the IP address of the Apache Rocket MQ server. Let us see what happens when the Threat Actor executes the exploit. A Nutcat server is spawned on the Threat Actor machine and it is listening for backdoor connection from the victim server. As you can see, the victim server is first detected as being vulnerable and then a malicious RCE payload has been sent to it. The Netcat server has connected successfully to the victim server. Let us run an ifconfig command on the threat actor server. As we can see, we see the IP address of the victim server. Now the threat actor can execute the cat command on the etc password file to display the contents of the password file. On the rocket MQ server, if we execute the PST command once again, we can see a malicious backdoor bash command running as a child process of the broker service. This backdoor represents a remote SSH session from which the threat actor can execute arbitrary commands on the victim workload. At this point, the threat actor pawns the victim machine. Let's go back to the CMS dashboard. Here we can see that we have received several incidents for the attack. The first ticket notifies the enterprise about the backdoor used in the attack. We can also see the details of the RCE attack. Next, we can see the ticket for ifconfig command. We also have the ticket for the cat command used. Now let us rerun the attack, but this time VSP will be in protect mode. When running in protect mode, the threat actor should have zero dwell time. Let me enable protect mode for the rocket MQ server. I will also enable a protection profile that will terminate any malicious command that may execute. Let me run the PST command once again. You can see that currently there are no backdoor bash process executing as a child of the broker service. Now let me run the exploit once again. As you can see in the threat actor console that the network connection has timed out indicating that the exploit has failed 
to execute on the vulnerable Apache Rocket MQ server. Now if I wait to check the PS3 on the victim server, I still don't see any backdoor bash command under the broker service, which means Versec has successfully blocked the RC exploit. Now let us go back to the CMS dashboard. We can see several incidents for the attack. In the first incident, we can see Versec has successfully blocked the backdoor established via the bash command used in the attack. We can see all the details of the RC attack. We can also see the protection actions carried out by Versec to prevent the attack. This demo shows that Versec can protect a vulnerable app that has not been patched with zero dwell time. Thank you.